Hello and welcome to another Dr. Spotify Quick Tip video. My name is Jose Luis Aguirre and today I'm going to show you how to add new records to your analysis without having to reload the entire data set. So consider this analysis in which I might have some production data and I'm only interested in the new records and I don't want to reload because that might take too, too much time to, to load. In this case, I have a little over 1 million records. And what I want to do is just bring those new records from the source system. So I'm going to put my mouse here just to select, mark this record to select that's the last one. And when I click add new rows, it's going to bring from the database those few records that were generated. And you might want to do this uh, on a regular basis. And every, every time I do this, the Iron Python script what's happening behind the scenes is adding some rows to this main table. I have two tables. This is my main table and this is my temporal data table. The temporal data table is going to bring only the latest records. This data table is set up on demand and it's just getting the latest records from the source system. Let's take a deeper look. Let's look at the canvas and you see when I click that button, it generated those those few records. Uh, this is my, my 1 million rows record, my main table. And then my temporary table is getting those records and it's set up on demand. So when, when I actually, when I look at this, this uh, table, this is my temporal table and I look at the on demand settings, I am taking the maximum, see how this is uh, greater or equal than the maximum uh, ID number of my, of my first data table. That's the expression I'm using in order to get the, the most recent records. And here's the expression. I put a plus one because by default it is taking the greater equal than. So in order to just get the, the latest record, I add one to my sequence, which is my ID of my records. So you have to make some changes depending on your use case, but that's the, the concept, that's the idea behind the scenes. And then the script is going to add this transformation. It's going to add those rows to the main data table. Let's do another example. I'm going to add a couple more records. One and two. And then when I click add new rows, then these two rows are added here. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to mark my, my latest, my last row. Just going to add one more row. And when I click add new rows, that new row that was generated is added here. So now if you look at the transformations, it's going to be keep adding those transformations there, but maybe I don't want to keep adding transformations because I might end up with a lot of transformations and I only interested i'm only interested in the in the new records so i want depending on you on your use case you want to delete the old transformation so what we're going to do in this next script is to delete the the, the first transformations as the new transformations transformations are coming so basically remove this transformation programmatically and then a new transformation will be adding the latest records so we can we 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 cap a, we keep a window of new new records that are added. So in order to see the details of uh, of the script, uh, I'm going to put a link below this video so you can see what are the details and how the script works in more detail, so you can see what's going on. So let's do la one last example. I'm going to add one more record, maybe two. Okay. And then I'm going to add the rows. I'm going to mark this, I'm going to add the new rows. I'm going to look at my data canvas. Now I have these three. And when I click remove all transformations, well, actually I, I need to add one more because I set it up as four. So I'm going to add one more transformation, go back, add the new rows. They pop here. I look at my data canvas and now I have four transformations, but when I click Remove all transformations is going to delete my first transformation that I had here. And I all will be, be keeping three transformations in my case, but you can, uh, depending on the frequency and whatnot, you can change that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any comments, put them in the, in the channel. Thank you and see you next time.